It begins. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> High on the energy train today. Energy. Energy. Yeah. E Hello. <laughs> Hi, Kiro. How you doing? Hi, Kiro. Hi, Kiro. Oof. Sleepy. <laughs> Join the club. It's a yeah, well, for sleeping. <clears throat> Speaking of Kiro, I guess, she we did manage to uh, beat, at least the first time around, the next boss in Valheim, so... We we know how it needs to be done. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically... It can be done. Yeah, it's... It, it had the vibe of a an MMO raid boss. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a quite an experience. <laughs> Always a good time. Need at least four people to do it. Hey, that or we need to find a way for if less than that, just hide out until things reset. Yeah, we all died in the process of the successful attempt, so that's fun. <laughs> yeah, lots of communication and planning. Exactly. What are you meowing, stranger? What I have no meowing? idea. <laughs> what are you meowing? What are you doing? Fun shaded eyes. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm still drawing this alien cat that I do. <laughs> Honestly, it looks more like a puppy. Um, yeah. It's cute. That's what the matter. <laughs> They look haunted. Um, they they look like called. they're a little stuck. <laughs> Just a little they're, bit. They're fine. Don't worry about it. Anyway, we're doing wikis today because we haven't done wikis for a while and I like wikis. Um, I think you could probably guess to a certain extent what wikis people have. Um, mm. But we'll, we can introduce anyway, I suppose. I'm doing Resident Evil, and I just found out that the wiki, when I try to sort by characters, it doesn't give me a character, it just gives gives me another way to sort characters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've had that before. <laughs> well, roll a dice and pick something on the page, I guess. Yeah. Your character yeah. is Umbrella Employees. Go! <laughs> um, E. Uh, I have and... the the Elden Ring, unsurprisingly. And I have the Zelda wiki, which I found out there is actually an independent Zelda wiki, not run by fandom, mm -hmm. uh, that also has a working random page. So I'm using that one instead of yeah. dot fandom. Um, I, <laughs> I usually have a thing installed that automatically diverts me to non-fandom wikis and if it if there is a fandom it diverts me to a website that basically scraped the information off of it um but unfortunately the the other wiki for elden ring which is fextra life doesn't have a random page thing so what i did instead was went on fandom and installed custom uh, css onto the page so that i've just hidden everything that's annoying <laughs> which is great it looks so much cleaner it's amazing <laughs> yeah as as someone who remembers the old internet uh a lot of websites on the new internet are just kind of like, if you had shown this to me in the '90s, I would have told you you've got to you you need to clean your computer because you've now got Trojanware <laughs> on it. Definitely, definitely fandom, fandom definitely has that vibe. I sorry, I do want to give a shout out to I tried to click characters again just to see if you would come up with anything, and it gave me another way to sort people, but this time it's. Just called deceased, <laughs> <laughs> as in all the characters who have died. Everyone who's dead. <laughs> Which, given those games, is probably so, most right. <laughs> so many. Yeah, there's there there's there are there are a lot of characters, especially in the first like four ish games, where the characters that you're playing as clearly know who this person is, but you never see them. Because they're in like a helicopter or something that gets shot down right after it gets introduced. Yeah. That's like 
a meme of like, oh, it's the guy in the helicopter. Bye, guy in helicopter. <laughs> Less guy in helicopter. Anyway, your character is guy in helicopter. Um, <laughs> now who wants to go first? And who wants to I'm roll so first? A bio organic weapon, so I might do that. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll draw first. Who who are you drawing? Who are you drawing? Who are you drawing? Oh, what are you drawing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the voice. Um. Oh, has like a vaguely Australian accent for some reason in the middle no, of Spain. Well, <laughs> well, that doesn't help me at all because I'm terrible at I mean, Australian accent. I, I've talked with someone who is from Spain and they're like, yeah, all of the Spanish that these people are speaking is not Spain Spanish. It's like Latin America Spanish. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. And badly at that. Makes so sense, who knows I think, where this place is? It's like, Resident Evil. <laughs> I think the original was like more uh Latin American coded, I guess. And but they never specified and then for this one it's like no, it's in Spain. <laughs> mm. But they kept things the same. But in a group of people who recently moved to Spain from <laughs> Latin America. <laughs> yeah, an entire village plus their uh, resident um, thousand-year-old cult plus just yeah. some guys <laughs> all went to Spain. <laughs> yeah, they just did a they they just did a foreign exchange program. Just swapped out <laughs> two small communities. Yay, cult swap! <laughs> I'd watch that TV show. <laughs> anyway, um, I will I will start with the Zelda because I feel like that'll be a simpler beginning. All warm right. up, you know. Let's gonna, see. Gonna have to draw monstrosities eventually, but we'll warm up with the Zelda. Well, I mean, some of them might end up being monstrosities. True. Uh, because some of the characters that are listed in here are, like, uh, characters that are enemies. Yes. So, and it goes from there. I've seen some of the things in Breath of the Wild. They, they get a bit complicated. Oh, huh. Um, huh. I guess I should ask, should have thought of this beforehand. Uh, do we care about spoilers, putting up spoilers for the Tears of the Kingdom game? Oh, that's the thing. Uh, we, we probably should This is, this is your stream that. and your thing, so I will let you be the decider of that and I, anyone I, in chat. I, I feel like that's recent enough that we should probably avoid it. Okay. Um, uh, the reason I ask is because the first thing that came up was a new character from that game. So oh. I will re-hit the randomizer. He. Now, if it's a character who's also in Breath of the Wild, I feel like that's fair. Yeah, but this that's is someone who's fun. literally new to Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, my my wiki's Elden Ring. That's pretty recent, but but I'll be fine. I think I'll be fine with that. <laughs> so okay. Yeah. yeah well, Breath but this is all. Like I said, this is your stream and this is going on your channel hey. and I don't want to have the very first thing people going, ah, nah, spoilers! If, if it's very, very early, um, then, yeah, I'll try and avoid spoilers. And it, it's early enough that there are people who bought the game on day one and still haven't finished it, you know? So, <laughs> I'm I'll, yeah. that's, that's a good time to just have a blanket no. Okay. I will warn so. with Elden Ring spoilers, but I, I have someone who is not from Tears of the Kingdom now. Uh, I have Yuke. Yuke. Who, uh, which is not so much a character as a species, are a hairy club-wielding species who live on the Isles of Frost in the Phantom Hourglass. Okay. Uh, Iobes! Yeah, exactly. Zeobes hasn't beaten it. Uh, so hairy, they have clubs. Yes. Uh, and they anything, live on the Isle else? of Frost. Um, and they are in some bitter struggles with their enemies, the Anuki, um, before they formed a peace agreement 100 years before the events of Phantom Hourglass. Now the Anuki inhabit the western side of the island, island while the Yuke live on the great ice field on the eastern side of the island. They will attack anyone they consider a threat, but possess the fatal flaw of sucking in large breaths of air. Uh, this allows Link to throw a bomb in their mouths, which will temporarily stun them and make them vulnerable Classic. to attacks. Yeah. 
<clears throat> that big old mouse. Big clubs. Yeah, how was the noobs? Spoilers for anyone who hasn't played Phantom Hourglass, I guess. Um, which includes me. Yeah, right? that one seems a little bit fair because that one was. Game Boy Advance? Yes. I don't oh, remember if it was DS or 3DS. I want to say DS. Uh, uh, and that one is <clears throat> significantly older. Now, granted, there are potentially people who haven't played it. Um, but not because it's new and they haven't gotten to it yet. It's just a, oh, this exists and they haven't gotten to it yet. Stressed with house thingies? Oh no. That's no good. That's Things no good. Are no fun. No fun. No. Kinda looks like they're wearing a big old coat, but they're, they're just hairy. It's... You've drawn a yeti with floppy ears. Yeah, it, it wasn't meant to be ears. It was meant to be hair, but I'm going with ears. That's fine. Um... <clears throat> it looks like it belongs in Avon Vale, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when we're trying to draw something big and simple. <laughs> Avon Vale happens. <laughs> this is the Avon Vale character that is violent and just smacks you over the head with a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> the only violent character in Avonville. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure someone's violent somewhere. Probably, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but they're not getting drawn because screw them. Um, <coughs> I miss. I mean, also seeing as your Avonville stuff are mostly following the adventures of <clears throat> parent with small child. Uh, <clears throat> I, I would hope they try to avoid anything where it's like, no, they're just going to, if you walk up to them, they're just going to try and smack you in the face with a club, or in this case, a lute. Uh, I was going for a big ukulele because they're called the uke. Um, I mean, I don't know instruments. <laughs> that works too. <clears throat> it has a vague guitar shape. It's a guitar. I feel like at a certain size, it's not happy a ukulele anymore. I didn't anymore. call it a flute. <laughs> <laughs> True, yes. <laughs> You could try and play it like a flute. Wouldn't be very successful, but uh, it's fine, right? I mean, the basic idea of playing a flute is blowing air across a hole, and it does have a hole. It's just very hard to blow the air across it. <laughs> try and play a ukulele like a panpipe. I imagine it would be rather difficult. Yeah, it's not, not going to be a lot of resonance there, I don't think. <clears throat> Although, if you think about it, the guitar is making use of the hole for the sounds, just not in the same way that you do with a flute. Yeah. <clears throat> It is, is a, the reason there's a big hollow body is for resonance, but just a different sort of resonance. Resonance, not resonance. We'll get to that. <laughs> different sort of resonance in a guitar as in a flute. <laughs> it's the resident residence. So anyways, what I'm learning here is guitars are flutes. No. <laughs> <laughs> you are learning incorrectly. <laughs> Well, then you are teaching me incorrectly. That's fair. <laughs> I was never a qualified defense, teacher. In my defense, I was in choir, not band. And so what is the I, human I voice have, but a... I, I have no 
official academic knowledge, as it were, of how musical instruments work beyond just what I picked up from listening to people talk about how musical instruments work. <clears throat> I was in a I children's call school. everything I come across a flute, and based on Chris reactions, I know that I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> so... <laughs> Oh, I was hoping that sentence would go, I'd know if I'm right or wrong. No, it's just always right. <laughs> it's always a flute. I can't help it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, Kira agrees with me. Everything is a flute. No. I think it's number 58, is it? Oh, I think it's quote number 58. <laughs> Just start going through quotes. Yeah, good use out of that quote bot. Yeah, 58. <laughs> <laughs> uh, appropriately enough, you were correct. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm correct on all on all accounts. <laughs> Mr. Darkner Parsnips. <laughs> Mr. Darkner Crispy Parsnips. That's my full title. <laughs> mm. I mean, not yeah, that's what they put on their for the title, Mr. Doctor, but I think <laughs> Mr. Doctor. <laughs> I'm entitled. I'm I'm allowed to use both of those titles, so <laughs> why yeah, not both at the then, same time? Like the abbreviated version of Mr. But Doctor written full out. That's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's what they wrote on his diploma. <laughs> Mr. Doctor. <laughs> Crispy <laughs> It's pronounced Murdoctor. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, thumbs. Thumbs are a thing, aren't they? Oh yeah, thumbs. They they exist on occasion. Um, you know? I'm reliably informed. I mean, given that this is a DS game, that's maybe not the best assumption to make. Yeah. <laughs> Considering there are a limited number of polygons to make use of. I mean, also, why do all creatures need to have thumbs? Maybe this one just doesn't have thumbs. True. Okay, they have a, th a fourth opposing finger. There we go. Um, mm -hmm. But not the thumb, very important. Chin <laughs> wing dings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you have to, like, people want to read, they have to put it, you know, through another text font first so they can read Mr. Dr. Crispy well, it, it, font. <laughs> but it's printed on paper, so you do have to actually go into Wingdings and like keep pressing uh, letters <laughs> until the that symbol shows up. It's like, okay, that's a Y. Mm -hmm. And eventually you will spell yeah. out the words, yes, this is in Wingdings. Mm -hmm. That's that's what it says. Yes, and this is a wing wings. Congratulations, Mr. Dr. Crispy Parsnipsons. Good at math. Um but not that multiplic multiplication. I mean arguably meant. the thing he's bad at is factoring, and to be fair, uh factoring is hard. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'd just like to think I can factor a hundred though. <laughs> <laughs> No. I did no, actually. I, I remember there was a piece of coursework, I'll always remember this, where I I got... It's one of those things where you focus on the really hard stuff and then you don't pay attention to the easy stuff. And the mm -hmm. only thing I got wrong in the entire thing was ba I, a calculation came down to... Oh. And I I, I did that. Because I just saw three threes and a bunch of pluses and went, yeah, it's nine. <laughs> so yeah, I'm bad, bad with this stuff. 
I got all of the, I think it was mathematical physics, actually. I, I got all of that right, despite the fact that I'm allergic to physics. Um. Yeah, I think that's why for our maths work, they usually taught us to, like, write it out in full. <laughs> like, just... Oh, yeah, always show your working. <laughs> show your work. First, like, put it down as it stands, then write it down in full, and then go from there. Yeah, that's, I mean, and that's mainly for, like, two main reasons. Uh, one, so that you can go back and see what you did, because chances are your future self will not remember what your past self did. Mm -hmm. uh, two, so your teacher knows what you did, uh, because I don't think I know a single math person who's really interested in, did you get the final answer? It's, did you understand what you needed to do? Yeah. Yeah. But usually students don't understand that. <laughs> yeah. And we of course, um, high school students who are just not happy to be there and just, yeah. you know, like, third year and asked, hey, when are we ever going to use this? And the teacher was like, mm, <laughs> you're going to have to learn it. And, you know, not really a motivating factor. Um, I mean, I don't know where you're going to use it, but I can probably tell you where it is useful. Yeah, but... <laughs> that's not good enough. That, those... That's not what they answered. <laughs> <laughs> those pesky and, kids. You know, then they proceed to sit on top of their desk for the remainder of class and didn't explain anything, so... <laughs> Again, yeah. I didn't really understand maths until my final year of high school when I got a teacher that actually explained things. <laughs> nice yeah, that, that happens a lot. <laughs> and it's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a yuk. Yuk. This is what they look like. They will hit you with a yuk. They will well, hit, you hit you with, with the flute. Oh, I did not not far. <laughs> not not that far indeed, if I uh, do declare so myself. I mean that is kind of a yeti yeah, with a club. <laughs> I got I got the, the underbite. Which is always yeah. important. Yep. I mean yours has a less big chin, but you know. <laughs> and yeah. I thought I went for a pretty big chin, turns out. <laughs> not big enough. <laughs> not big enough for Zelda. Inferior also, chin. No thumb, just yeah, I... spike. <laughs> yeah, just see what spike you... hand. <laughs> Why do you need a club? You have a spike hand. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like I said, I'm really I... redundant at this point. I, I have a feeling it's because, like I said, this is a DS game, so we're dealing with a small screen and a limited number of pixels, so it's more of a, let's just imply what the shape is. <clears throat> I also, it looks... A little bit like it's wearing a tiny skirt. <laughs> With the little triangles at the bottom. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. <laughs> I don't know either, but it just looks like a tiny skirt. And then the color changes, so I don't know. <laughs> there is... Uh, we're also ignoring the big blue spiral nipple tassels. Um, Listen, that's... There, there. I mean, also... I'd say it's a tattoo, but it's on fur, I'm pretty sure, which... So I guess it's painted fur? <laughs> cool. Painted hairy nipples. Got I mean, it. in the second <laughs> shiny form, it just like looks like they shaved out the pattern. <laughs> they have a shiny form, look at that. This is vanilla? <laughs> yeah, that, that chocolate and vanilla yeti, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and that one looks a... like they shaved out the pattern. Yeah. <laughs> Which is arguably worse. I'd rather have it painted on. <laughs> yeah. That's right, they're having a good time. I think it's because with the white version, the spiral is the same color as, like, the hands and the face. Yeah. Where with the, with the brown one, the blue is not the same color as the hands of the face. It's sort of the same color as their club. Hmm. 
Miss, let me teach you maths with enthusiasm and a desire for you to understand things, please. <laughs> yeah, I'll beat my use. There's no exams. I don't care about those. They're annoying. Yeah. But there will there will be a test, and that test Mr. will be me Dr. asking you. Mister Doctor Parsnipson's PH Math. Um. <laughs> yes. So you you have two qualified math educators who can teach you math in ways that are hopefully more interesting than what you got in your high school. I mean, it, honestly, <laughs> it was a low bar until like my sixth year. So. <laughs> <laughs> Then the bar skyrocketed, but... <laughs> Hi, Bab. How you doing? Uh, which way are we going? Does Jeep want to draw or Ragdoll? That is a good question. What way do we want to go? <laughs> I don't know. You're in charge. I'm in charge. Jeep, uh, uh, you're drawing an Elden Ring. Okay. No. Yes. What? <laughs> yes, that is correct. Okay. <laughs> I'm drawing an onion ring. An, an onion ring. Draw an onion ring. Um, would you like a character, an enemy, or a boss? Uh, uh, a, uh, a... What? <laughs> Sorry, my brain <laughs> crashed at that question. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> a character, an enemy, or a boss? Uh... You know, let's go with boss. Why not? Let's just boss. go fuckery. Cool, boss. You have... Ooh, Crystallian. 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 Mysterious inorganic beings with crystalline bodies. Who cleave close to the mm. ideals of the primeval current. Law, 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 law. Um... <laughs> I like crystal. how you didn't even bother reading the rest of that. You just kind of went oh, in and, so much and then insert lore here. <laughs> insert lore here. Um, they they have weapons made of crystal. They're made of crystal. They hop. Oh. <laughs> they hop. <laughs> they hop. Okay, that changed our entire vibe for me. <laughs> crystal. Yeah, bulb. the fellas with the white bobs. Bobs. What? Bobs. <laughs> Bobs, N not <laughs> what you're thinking. <laughs> they hop. I say they they frog. Can I say they frog? You can say they frog. I'm not gonna stop you. Oh, they frog. Um, my brain is tired and I haven't drawn in two days, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, same. <laughs> To show how tired my brain was, you said inorganic, and I thought that was that for a second I thought that meant like immaterial. And I was like, how am I gonna draw something that isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> They're inorganic. They were they were grown using pesticides. Um, let's start with frog, and they hop, so they happy. <laughs> Crystal lasagna. What? Has Souls Boarding Game ever had a good frog boss? Uh, Demon of Songs? Not really a good boss, but it's interesting. Um, I mean, I think there's two different definitions of good that can be used here. Good as in a good <clears> boss, <throat> or good as in a good design. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Demon of Song has a good design. It's not a good boss. Because you can have something that it's like, oh, this looks really cool. Whoever designed this fight should... Meet me behind the Denny's at 2 a.m. I just want to talk. <laughs> Good as in any. Yeah, the Demon of Song. Dark Souls 2. Neo? N yes, Neo had the really cool Toad Ninja. They were, they were cool. Yeah, look at them. Happy. It's not Soulsborne. It's, it's Souls-like. Kind of-ish. Not really, but kind of. <laughs> it's far enough away that I was really bad at it. So <laughs> that's my excuse. I think, I think with, it has enough elements that some people might say, oh, it is a, but I think there's enough gameplay elements that are different that anyone who is actually interested in those types of games would consider them different. 
if that mm. makes sense. Yeah. Like the difference between various types of, I don't know, jazz music, where like a casual listener would be like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's all jazz. But then someone else is like, now, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I could I could probably argue relatively cogently that Sekiro is not a soul's life. But mm. I think most people would disagree with <laughs> I think Sekiro is closer to being a Souls like than Neo. Yes, if definitely. Only because of how the world setup is. <clears throat> yeah. Because at least in Sekiro, like your other Souls ish games, it's a large, like everything is connected, connected. I mean, there might be like little areas where it's like, ah, oh, this is very clearly the load screen tunnel. Um, <laughs> Whereas with Neo, it's more like with what you've got with your um, Warriors games, where you've got the map and you go into the missions. Mm, but within the missions, it feels sort of like a mini Souls like. Joyce, can you repeat what I'm drawing? <laughs> oh, what was I drawing? <laughs> You're drawing a crystallian. <clears throat> they are a crystal. The hopping friend. They're also um yeah. They made a crystal. Bas basically well, the whole. Drawn a frog. <laughs> You've drawn a frog for which we're all grateful. The best frog. Uh right. Our crystal. Um, I also drew them in a very weird place <laughs> on the canvas. They, they are. <laughs> they are sat on top of the head of another frog. <laughs> yeah, there we go. They can be sitting on top of another frog that looks more like a rock. <laughs> or be sitting on top of a rock that turns out to also be a frog. Uh, oops. Dark Souls 1. Dark Root Garden. They look a bit like manta rays, <laughs> and they're red, but I think they're frogs. There you go. I think there is a frog in, in a Souls game. <clears throat> it's not a boss, but it's a frog. Ooh. Ooh. Spiny. I also like sentences like this in the Elden Ring wiki. The, the Crystallians may be summoned by a spirit caller snail. <laughs> Naturally. Obviously. So they have snail <laughs> friends. Yeah. Every, lots of lots of people are friends of the snails. Wait, these guys are <laughs> snail friends? Uh they can be. Okay. You wanna draw a snail as well? I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> then why are you dying on this? Oh, this is fine. Uh, I would be very happy to see an Oob's designed frog boss. This is the boss that strikes bone-chilling terror to all Souls players. Well, Souls players who are trying to use a sharp weapon. Turns out, trying to use a sharp weapon on a crystal doesn't do much. It blunts your weapon. <laughs> what you need is a hammer. Uh, actually, we will probably meet one of these on the next stream, so... Actually, we might meet two of them. <laughs> this frog isn't weak to anything. <laughs> They're weak to hugs. <laughs> yeah, this specific frog, not the actual bosses. <laughs> I mean, the frog on top definitely isn't weak to anything. The crystal frog, I don't know. But, you know. <laughs> is it is is the rock frog screaming? I don't know yet. <laughs> it's going. Rah. 
<laughs> I haven't decided what it is doing. It's doing something, probably to kill you. Um. No screen. This is the thing. John Carpenter's the thing. That was a dog, wasn't it? I mean, it was for part of it. <clears throat> yeah, gimmick boss miss. Big old invulnerable crystal frog attacking you. You got to go find the real frog hiding in the reeds. That, or you're traveling around trying to get this tiny frog, it hops somewhere, and then suddenly here's the rock frog, and it's like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, Patches is like... Oh, if you see a little frog, go chase it. It'll, it'll lead you to treasure. And then it leads you to a giant crystal frog that obliterates you. I mean, to be fair, there probably is treasure in the giant crystal frog. It's just also going to obliterate you. Yes. It will lead you to treasure that you can't get. It's like an anglerfish type thing where it's like, oh, a tiny little thing. Oh, no, nice. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to apologize for giving you something made of crystal. Um, yeah, that is really not nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You'll get your revenge soon. I mean, yeah, me well. <laughs> anything from Resident Evil. <laughs> Although, you know, I could, I could just get, you know, Jill. No, I've decided to sort by bioweapons. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so, you're gonna get a monster, but they might be humanoid, so... Still. <laughs> That'd be hu humanoid. Listen, I mean, bio that's weapons a... and Resident Evil have no fucking role. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. There, there's... Except for gross. Oh, oh. A lot of bioweapons in Resident Evil are humanoid, but only in the sense that they have two legs, two arms, and there is a face somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> or multiple faces. <clears throat> yeah, they I have mean... two legs, two arms, and a face. Maybe more of all of those. <laughs> and yeah. not all in the same place. There's apparently, like, at one point, one guy absorbed another guy, so the bioweapon gained two faces. No. Um, and I don't think they were fa where faces should be, um, or at least one of them wasn't where faces should be. I was, I was gonna say it's difficult for them both to be where faces should be. Yeah. Why don't you do this to me? Because I'm evil. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> no. I didn't ask you to draw a big crystal frog. I mean, you did, though. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you to draw a crystallion. That's... Yeah, and that's a big crystal frog. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna, like... Draw like a cliff, um, because that seems appropriate. I'm just gonna just they're looking down just on to you. give myself a little like point, and then just like a little. Oh, you're looking down. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, wow, even a... <clears throat> even that other frog is huge. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, exactly. You walk up there, you see a big frog, and you think, ah, that's the boss. And then, no, it turns out there's a, there's always a bigger frog. <laughs> there's always a bigger frog. <laughs> and that's the life lesson of Elden Ring, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Life lesson of there's always bigger frog. Always a bigger frog. Actually, I've just realized, Miss, your idea of there's a big frog that's attacking you, but you have to beat it by finding the hidden small frog. Uh, there is a boss like that in Elden Ring, but it's not a hidden small frog, it's an invisible snail. Oh, right. So. It had to be like a little snail. Frog. I have Hold questions, and I'm not sure I want answers. <laughs> I mean, well. Also, the fact that the big frog also has a knife. <laughs> would like an invisible snail, would give pet. <laughs> the racing snail, uh, it tends to just stay where it is. It's invisible. Why move? I do like there's a sentence here in the wiki which is odd. This is a wield weaponry fashioned from crystal, a deed impossible for a human. Now why? <laughs> like you you get their weapon and can use it. <laughs> well, uh looks like Jeeb has included the weapon. Yeah, we've got the weapon. Which probably not wieldable by a human, I think. <laughs> if I had to hazard a guess. Maybe I like mean, a large try. group of humans <laughs> with a contraption. You can for sure try, though. Yeah. Is this what Elden Ring is about? Yes. Good. By which I mean silly things. Lots of silly things in Elden Ring. And this fits. Oh, I've just in the snail. Yeah. You said uh, the snail friends. You specifically. I will note that that's that. based off of context of size. That snail is also huge. Pretty big. You first think the snail is the boss. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, that's a pretty <laughs> small boss. Um, and then it becomes a frog, and you think, okay, bigger boss, I get it, I get it. And then it becomes big <laughs> frog, and you're like, shit. You know? And then you, and then you die before you realize that there's a bigger frog. Yeah, exactly. That you walked into thinking it was the cave. Just had his mouth open. Oh. Jabu Jabu style. Crystals. Everybody loves crystals. Yeah. Especially drawing them, it's great. It's the best! Like some very cool rigid, but also you have to make them look somewhat organic, but also mostly it's like shine and light, so yeah. it's hard to do. And, and you've decided to make an entire disconnected arm of... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it was either a disconnected arm or it was a connected arm, so... <laughs> If it has an implied structure, then that's a structure you don't have to draw. Exactly. Hmm. That was a wolf. What?
I just drew a round hairy friend. <laughs> yeah, and it looked a lot like what you were supposed to draw. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, with the description that was given, it's very hard to hear that and think anything other than just feral yeti. Yeah. Or as uh, CC just wrote that out, a uh, Pharrell Yeti. Pharrell Williams's uh, Arctic tapes. Yeti's not in the Arctic, is it? The Himalayas? Uh, I mean, it's a Yeti. <laughs> I don't know how you want me to answer that. <laughs> to, I mean, me, a Yeti can be wherever it's... it wants to be. I'm not going to argue with it. True, true. Yeah, either it's fictional, in which case the answer doesn't matter, or it's real, in which case not, I'm not getting involved. I tell you, housemate, that you're doing this because you just told them that your wrist is sore, but crocheting with changing colour wool is making you go cross-eyed. Oh, it's yeah, very that happens. easy to keep track of. It's very easy to keep track of, it's fine. Color changing wool does look cool, though, so. E. Well, I'd hope so, otherwise what's the point? <laughs> I feel like we're all going to be quietly disappointed with the actual Crystalian at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, given how much stuff is being added here in the large scale, at the very least, it's going to be a lot smaller than this one. Oh, yeah. Like, it's taller than the player, but that's true of literally everything in Elden Ring. Um, I think the snails might actually be taller as well. That's some mm. very impressive snails. <clears throat> Uh, yeah. please, uh, imagine that the tummy is also a crystal. There. Can do! It's done. <laughs> done! Look at them. Good old crystalian. As we live and breathe. The uh, this is frog the- is Chris and the other one is Thalian. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Uh, this this is the knockoff one um, from is... onion rings. Onion. I I can see. Assuming the rings are the weapon, I can see why that yeah. would be sort of difficult for a human to wrap their brain around. I mean, that, I, I chose the cool looking weapons. They have multiple weapons. Okay. Ooh, stuff. Yeah, that one's that one's just just a stick. Yeah. It's a magic stick, but it's a stick. It's a see-through yeah, person. I'm uh, wearing just they're they're all made of crystal, and then they just wear this tiny little shoulder cape. Yeah, I've never noticed that before, but they do, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> what for? Mm -hmm. Who knows? Fashion. This is Elden Ring. We're about fashion here. Mm. Otherwise, what's the point of Bok? Maybe the cape is like a polishing cloth or something. They keep that around to clean themselves whenever they get yeah. whenever the crystal gets too messy. See, mm -hmm. we learned. Maybe they just like fashion. Anyway, mm. I like my crystal frog, and I think uh, it should be <clears throat> an Elden Ring boss. Thank you. It is already. Done. Solved. Welcome to my pitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the DLC. Done. We declare it. It is now so. Yay. I also, I, I'm looking at the face and I know it's supposed to be like a kind of crystal lattice thing, but I'm sort of looking at it as though it's got like a big open mouth with one big triangular tooth. <laughs> 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 Makes a little like Mario enemy sound of just like. <laughs> <laughs>
It's like chop chops. Mm -hmm. Just as a toothy rock. Speaking mm. of toothy, uh, Tooth. Ragdoll, do you want to draw yes, a turn. Resident Evil monstrosity? Now, I have either played or watched people play most of the Resident Evils, but also, mm. uh, there's no good way to remember most of the bosses. Even some of the ones that are recurring bosses. Yeah. Well, they could be recurring and look completely different <laughs> from form to form, so... Like, there's a couple where it's like, ah, oh, yes, I remember that thing, but a lot of them I don't remember their names. Ah, uh, okay. So, don't worry don't... about me knowing what the heck I'm supposed to do here. You don't remember the Type R2 Xenoflange? That's the best <laughs> boss. Mm hmm. Baby um, Bill Eisenberg, yeah? yeah. Little Merman. Okay. Um, Ragdoll, you get a Cephalo. Mm hmm. Cephalos appears as a long centipede-like parasites, as long centipede-like parasites with a spiked bone protruding from its spine, which can be used as a weapon. I thought I was going to say as a saddle. <laughs> you can ride them. <laughs> I mean, maybe you can. They are pretty, pretty long, because they come out no. of the top of a human. I don't know if you want to oh. try and ride any of the Resident Evil monsters. Um, I mean, no. But... Something, oh. something your, Heisenberg. Your, something, your layer something. is still on. <laughs> um, yeah, it gets its name from the Cephalopendontra, a root vegetable found in Kenya. I don't know Oops. if that helps, but... <laughs> I, I could have sworn it would have been cephalopods, but I guess not. It's a, it's a root vegetable. <laughs> So, so, so it's a centipede named Intrude, with a giant spike in its back. Lovely. A centisweed. That's, that's, yeah, that's Resident Evil for you. <laughs> Oddly enough, that's probably one of the more sensible things to happen. Yes, but saddles, I don't know, I don't know what's confusing. It's a saddle that you ride. I should have that going the other direction. Let's see. <laughs> Long so body in here. I'm trying to figure out like where they're from um, in the Resident Evil universe and it just leads me down a rabbit hole and I think it's mm -hmm. from um, experienced I'm gonna butch the name Kujuju which is a blogspot.com blog created by Capcom but written in alternate reality style by the character Adam to promote release of Resident <laughs> Evil 5 <laughs> <laughs> You know, the most natural yeah. thing to happen. I, that's my favorite Resident Evil game. <laughs> I know. The fake block I mean, spot. <laughs> it could be worse. It could have said this is from a pachinko machine. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Bear get sleep. Mm -hmm. Dream of saddles. Yeah. So, um, do they do they post to the blog often? <laughs> these these centipedes. I don't think they post to the blog. I think they appear in the blog. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like it was probably something made as a promo thing. Yeah, it was happens. made as promo for Resident Evil 5. 
And I so guess it... they also appear in Resident Evil. 5. Yeah, I'm hoping so. <laughs> a bit, bit weird. <laughs> We have a new um, game coming out. By the way, here's a blog with things that aren't in it. <laughs> yeah, it does appear in Resident Evil 5 because the first Cephalo encountered is a woman named Allison whose last appearance is in Resident Evil 5. <laughs> okay, so it goes well then. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, the first appearance is in the Experience Kajuju, which is the blog. Oh, of course. The Obviously. fake blog, and then last appearance is Resident Evil 5. So, Which is know. a completely separate entity. <laughs> exactly. Um, yes. <laughs> um, and Cephalos also appear in the Mercenaries minigame, inhabiting mostly female Magini in the first stage. Genies? <laughs> Ma- Magini? <laughs> Tips, Machini? Fez. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They just throw that word in there for some reason. They just, like, Al- it just says, uh, first Cephalo encountered this from a woman named Allison. She was kidnapped by a, kidnapped by a Magini, Magini when she tried to escape. And... <laughs> They give no further information. It's not a link you can click. It's just the word Magini and have fun, I guess. And I'm still just, yeah, Magini. Tips fans. Magini. Just, just. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Cephalo is the middle stage of a type 2 Plaga and type 3 Plaga's life. Uh, what? Is this Digimon now? <laughs> no. Is Resident Evil Digimon? I no, mean, the, I the designs are so. similar. <laughs> I mean, they do mutate, so maybe. Yeah. It is a very... I mean, they mutate and they mutate a lot, because it's Resident Evil, and what Resident Evil loves, I've found out, is like an unkillable enemy. <laughs> Um, so they just yeah, have a character ones... kill an enemy again and again and again, and every time the enemy looks slightly different because they're an important character and they cannot die the first time. The monster, I mean, sometimes the monster has been character, but usually it's like a guy dater. <laughs> Kira was reminded of Plaga, yes, that, that is a word. Presumably. Plaga is... <laughs> These Resident Evil things are usually caused by either viruses or um, any other disease. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've had, mostly we've, viruses. So we've got fungus yeah. in some of the more recent ones. Um, yeah. I mean, there were technically... viruses in the early ones. Mm-hmm. Um, and Plaga's uh, Resident Evil 4 is basically. parasites. Okay, so let's let's get this out of the way. Are there any protagonists of Resident Evil games who are actually made of viruses or made parasites? Made of viruses. Yeah. Uh, we, we have I don't know if boy. made of, <laughs> but there's a significant number of ones who have been infected by and right. significantly changed by. I mean, I mean, the it's hold on. <laughs> I'm going through because Sherry. They're, get, they're has diving been deep, everyone. <laughs> changed by stuff from Resident Evil Two. Oh yeah, and but Jill Sherry... has also been significantly changed <clears throat> uh, by Resident Evil shenanigans. Yeah, because that's Jill, Jill was mind controlled at some point. Oh. Um. Because uh, uh, Albert Wesker is a uh, uh, fucker. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's not the profession on He's the way. He's a bad guy. He also gets mutated. <laughs> yes. Um, there, so. there is a duplicate Ada Wong that is running around in one of the games. What? Yes, I guess she's <laughs> te- entirely. I guess created. she's technically made of. Virus is <laughs> it's technically that's it's there's an original lady 
uh -huh. got, <laughs> got in, not really got infected, infected herself, got rebirthed as a clone of Ada Wong, who is an important <laughs> character in the series. Oh, d imagine you're like, I'm going to become a, a, a new life form. I'm going to transcend humanity. And then you get turned into a different person. <laughs> no, that was on purpose. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. <laughs> It wasn't because purpose. one of the other characters is really obsessed with Ada Wong, and she's really obsessed with him, so she decided to become Adolf. Um, and then they could um, frame Ada for assassinating the president of the what? United States. <laughs> this is Which a thriller is now. weird to me, because Ada Wong does various jobs for money. I'm pretty sure they could have just paid her to do some of those things, and she would have just went, yeah, sure. But, but, yeah, they... I mean, they specifically wanted to frame Ada Wong. I think her, like, she started a company, New Umbrella, which is different from Umbrella and Blue Umbrella, which is a what? new umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it's New Umbrella now. Uh, run by uh, Ada Wong. And they're they trying to frame phone? New Umbrella for uh, basically spreading a virus across the world that will turn everyone into zombies and infect it and just kill everything. Um, I I don't know why they want her to frame her for that, because, you know... Because this is a noir now, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, no, Resident actually, Evil this is Resident 6 Evil, um, is a time. Six? Yeah, 6, which... Um, Remember mechanically... Hunter my Stream, was I was like talking about well. summary of Resident Evil 6 <laughs> that lasted 20 minutes and I understood less of it by then. So, the, okay, the, the, there's a streamer I follow called Barry. He's good. Mm -hmm. He And he did a stream with someone who is very intimately familiar with the lore of Kingdom Hearts, yes. where they just sat down together and the latter explained all of the lore to the former. And it was mm -hmm. bonkers. I kind of want to do that with you explaining the Resident Evil lore to me. <laughs> Just so I can I'm... descend into madness live. I'll <laughs> try. I give it a good old try. Because I don't know some of the Resident Evil lore myself because I haven't watched all of them. But <laughs> No, you're an expert now. You, you... I'm an expert. But one of the things you need that. to understand about Resident Evil 6 um, <laughs> is that it is... So Resident Evil 5 sort of went full action, and Resident Evil 6 just kept going with that. But they also went, hey, how about we make this multiplayer, but oops, we've made a story, we've got too much storyline for the characters that we planned, so we're going to add another route, but not add another character to that route. So you have a multiplayer game where one of the routes you can play has one character and a dummy character that can't do anything other than shoot things. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> like it, Are they you made can't of parasites? Any of the puzzles. <laughs> so literally, only one person gets to solve the puzzles. That's fine. Let's... Okay. Okay. Netflix so in there are... fine. <laughs> <laughs> they are a metaphorical parasite on the other character. I get it. Okay. Um... Yeah, but the Ada Wong <laughs> rebirth thing is real. <laughs> I... That also exists there. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Listen, gonna we'll, do, we'll make a stream of it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> make a stream of uh, it, and then take s several weeks off. Um... <laughs> yes. Exactly. Um, hey, I like that you gave it a hat. That's cute. It's got a hat. Yeah. We're gonna, we're oh, yeah, gonna just make it a cowboy centipede. Yeah. I, I, I did think, actually... Um, after the shenanigans of the other night, um, if we just did a general doodle stream, I was going to draw a uh, cowboy chibi. What? For the uh, for your your Dutch Wild West heritage, <laughs> right? Yeehaw and all that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm an odd. Have law. you even ridden a horse before, Chibi? <laughs> I've I've ridden a pony when I was like we go. eight. We're in there. <laughs> More than I have. <laughs> there are <was> horses nearby. 
Never I, uh, when I go out for a walk, I walk past some horses and a couple of ponies. Oh. I, I've got cows near me. I also have cows near me. Don't ride those. I wouldn't recommend it. No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> They're not trained for it, and also they are very wide. Well, uh, you say that. I don't think there's millipedes trained for it either. But um, what's this here called? Is, um, <laughs> this well, what what was it called? The... I mean, the millipede Cephalo. is also uh, very Cephalo. much fake. And Cephalo. last time I checked, cows are real. Oh, right, no. those things. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Well then. <laughs> yeah. So remember how I said we've also got parasites? Um, they just sort of pop out of people's heads. Yeah. Yeah, so you have... I, I think the plagas are basically the parasite that you're talking about. Because that's the thing with the plagas. They get a parasite that gets shot into something and they... into someone and they... like... I'd say, like, have a queen, I guess. <laughs> As well, that's usually how they control people, because <laughs> there's a cult involved usually in these games. <laughs> well, we killed the queen yesterday, so yeah, good. What? It's good. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah, so they they inhabit bodies, and if the person goes all zombified, and uh, in game, <clears throat> if you don't do enough damage. To the enemy when they're falling down, the plagas just sort of pops out of their neck with their mm. sword thing, and then you have to kill it again. Yeah, what? which is fun. Dark sat in my Valheim chair. How yes. dare he? He's trying He's... to replace me. He actively I said that. Stand for it. <laughs> so you'll sit for it. Yeah, exactly. And then Chris kicked it. Chris. I didn't kick. What? I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I name in the back of it. Chris. I was on Cheeb's side. I was going to name the VOD, Hey Cheeb, Duck Sat in Your Chair. <laughs> Chris, I, did none I of these believe things. you do all this. I like the fact that Miss is accusing me of all these things and has, has not mentioned the thing that I actually did, which was got... Uh, Guilty that M was dancing with someone else. How dare! That's the worst <laughs> crime. Honestly. It was Kiro. It was Kiro. I, I mean, think that's, that's acceptable. Fine. That's acceptable, <laughs> yeah. M can dance with Kiro. Anyway, speaking of monsters, I need a monster now. You need a monster. Okay. Hold on. Revenge. As opposed to a monster. Yes. Okay. A monster. Um. Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh, we're keeping on the plaga train. We're not getting any cool bosses or anything. Um. I mean, you could always rehit the button. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> rehit re the else. button because. Mm, Said spider like and no. Right, miss. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna re roll that one as well. <laughs> that one doesn't have a picture. Sorry, this goes very slowly. Yeah, that's fine. I've done this before. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're just not good. I mean, at That's least we thing. know how to narrow it down to a specific kind of thing now, instead of just hitting the button and going, hey, look, a green herb! <laughs> this one looks kind of fun. Or at least what, what? it seems like you could have some fun with it. Um, Chris, your bioorganic weapon is the Farfarello. F f far? <laughs> Farfarello. It's from the, the uh, Commedia dell'arte. Uh, so it's the Farfarella, the uh, slanderer, elf, goblin, or evil spirit, named after one of the twelve demons called the Malabranch, evil oh, the claws Malabranch. from Dante's 
Dante's Divine Comedy e. uh, is an independently Im- independently improved species of the hunter bioorganic weapons. Okay. Ooh, you get a hunter. So they're like... Are they the lizards mm. from the first game? Um... Hmm. <laughs> I think they're like lizards. So they're improved uh, and may or may not be a clown. Exactly. Um, as a result way, of it. being administered the T abyss virus, the farfarella came to be resistant to cold temperature, as evidenced by them operating on a snowy mountain top. <laughs> okay, so they're friends with the uke. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, in conditions that would have frozen other models of hunters. Uh, the farfarella also came to have the ability to mimic their surroundings and become transparent, similar to the group to a group of aquatic organisms. Oh, so they are. Um, they they are the lizards. They they're doing the gecko thing. However, because they were exposed to multiple viruses, both the T virus and T abyss, they became so aggressive that they were even more difficult to control than the regular hunter. Yeah, that's how it goes in these games. <laughs> we spent so much time thinking about if we could, we did, ever stopped to think of if we should. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Um... It seems that they're mostly from Resident Evil Revelations. And I, at the moment, forgot which one Revelations is. <laughs> That's alright, it'll come to you eventually. It will be a revelation. Jokes, everyone! Brown husbandry, Tumblr. What? 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 <laughs> Ask Miss, not me. <laughs> Hey, miss, um... No, I refuse what? to ask. <laughs> Any continuation of this conversation will result in a ban in chat. Um... <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Yeah, it's the one with the chips. Yes, I get it now. The, the boats. <laughs> um, they get... They go on a lot of boats in this one. <laughs> and, like, the... Oh, Revelations, okay, so... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, um... I, thought you, I thought you meant these creatures, like, had chips. <laughs> no. <laughs> so they're just walking... Well, they do now. Um... <laughs> um... It makes you laugh, so you have to add it. <laughs> Classic. Draw-through rules also apply here. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's, it's, it's a lot of like political revelations is basically, okay, let's get a little bit into the political side of things with, um, how the organization that Chris Redfield and Jill, uh, started up is going corrupt, question mark, um, and also other political things happening with it and um stuff happens and they're on boats a lot and um there's <laughs> this guy with really cool hair and that's all I remember <laughs> that description got much less coherent as it went on <laughs> listen I watched the summary of that and all I remembered was this guy would <laughs> With Claire, okay. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> um, wait, is it that one? To be honest, I don't think Resident Evil does political intrigue all that well anyway, so... Oh, no, we had a clone it's... assassination attempt. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, a lot, of hap- a lot of stuff happens in Resident Evil, and... <laughs> they try to, like, kind of, like, 
get like on a world level, but it never really works in my opinion. <laughs> um it's it tends to be a lot of you know, oh, every organization in the world is corrupt or can get corrupted. <laughs> Um, and nothing you know is safe. That's usually the political message of Resident Evil, I think. Or at least that's the political message I get from it. I mean, you that's a very bold assumption to assume that they're going for a message. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That, that's, that's the consequence, let's say. Let's just leave it at that. A passive. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. The guy with the hair is named Raymond Vester. And, uh, sorry, it took me a little bit before I could find his name in the stupid summary. <laughs> Everybody loves Raymond. Everybody loves Raymond. Maybe not this him. Raymond, though. Maybe no, he might be a little Raymond. bit of a double crossing bitch who sells um, viruses to, you know, corrupt political organizations, but. Or not even corrupt political organizations, corrupt um, pharmaceutical companies. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's also another quote unquote, the political boots. message of uh, Resident Evil. All pharmaceutical companies are inherently evil. <laughs> this, this person was made in a character creator and you can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I love his hair. <laughs> <laughs> This is somebody's Saints Row protagonist. <laughs> I love his hair, and um, good friend To pointed out that he has like the hair of like a JoJo character. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's got a bit of a vibe. <laughs> I mean, the fact that it's also, like, bright red instead of being some muted colour doesn't help. Mm. Yeah, we're back on clowns again, aren't we? This keeps happening. Because for the most part, the Resident Evil games are sort of allergic to colour. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so pointed out he specifically looks like Kakion? Mm, I don't know the names. Kakion? <laughs> yes, Kakion, but you know, <laughs> it's the same picture. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much. <laughs> the same guy, just in a different outfit. <laughs> Management would like you to spot the difference between these two pictures. <laughs> exactly. Uh, now I really want to just explain my understanding of Resident Evil plot to you. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and It'd the be thing a is, horrible stream for everyone involved. <laughs> re regardless of how much you know about it, it's still not going to make any sense because it's all oh, no, no, evil. No. Of course. But I did a draw through a Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> mm -hmm. If we can Congrats. get through that. <laughs> as far as I know, there's no. Um, monsters on the moon in Resident Evil. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. As far you as I Resident know. Resident Evil 11. <laughs> With the umbrella moon base. Hmm. Listen. 
in universe umbrella has been gone for like a century now <laughs> and yet <laughs> it keeps being, keeps returning to umbrella they're just really bad about cleaning up their shit yeah the it's always like okay in every resident evil game it's like oh this was actually an old umbrella base huh <laughs> And then it turns out it's not, you know, they go in because, oh, what if, you know, we can be safe here from all the infected. And, you know, guess where the infected came from. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. <laughs> Seems a bit silly. It's like, it's either Umbrella or it's some thing or someone related to Albert Wesker. Those are the two antagonist types. And usually like... they're, like, interlinked. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the logic of, you know, let's hide from the fire in this flaming petrol station. It's like... <laughs> yeah, that's basically... <laughs> basically the vibe, yeah. It's, it's um, always Umbrella. <laughs> always Umbrella. And always comes back to evil pharmaceutical company. Which, you know... I don't Is know it... what they were doing pharmaceutically. Because it didn't seem yeah. like there were any pharmaceutical things going on. <laughs> yeah. Working on a new type of aspirin. <laughs> um, got out of hand. The headaches got a bit too much. Insert picture of Millipede. There, there's like one or two things where I could see, like, okay, they, they were attempting to do this and they succeeded, but badly. Um, mm. But then most of the stuff you look at it and go, it's just like, no, this is just bioweapons. Like, yeah. I mean, to be fair, like, the... God, I'm gonna get this wrong, but there were three main guys that started it all. And one, like, they researched the T virus, I believe. And they were, and two of them, one of them was like, hey, we can use this to, like, you know, regenerate people, heal them, help them. And the other two were like, I hear you, but what if um, we sell it to militaries around the world um, as a weapon? <laughs> And one of those guys found Umbrella. Um, so I guess it was always gonna be, like, yeah. a cover-up for a bioweapon industry. But still, I don't know if they ever did anything pharmaceutical. <laughs> yeah, that's always... But then again, on the other like side... Like, at that point, yeah. just brand yourself as, you know, a weapon manufacturer. <laughs> In in real life, sometimes science goes a little sideways. Like, um, oh, I don't remember the name of it. There's a plant where they were like, right, we're we're gonna fiddle around with some adding gene things with something that's fairly simple. So, how about we take this plant that's sort of a bluish purple color and see if we can make it bluer by introducing more of that gene? Uh, and then the plant went, hey, no, and turned white. Yeah. But, and so it's like, well, that's that's the opposite of what we wanted, but interesting. Yeah. No, but... <laughs> I'm just imagining someone standing next to a giant abomination of flesh and sinew and going, not what we wanted, <laughs> but interesting. But... <laughs> no, but How's that aspirin coming along? No! <laughs> <laughs> the guy who started the umbrella never wanted to use it as... Like for um like with a medical purpose, I I think. Or at least that's what the summary I watched indicated. So, okay, you so know, still a weird choice to, you know, start a pharmaceutical <laughs> company. <laughs> so now I'm imagining they start a pharmaceutical company like as a guise <laughs> for making chemical weapons. But they actually accidentally discover a cure for the common cold, and that's how yeah. they make money. <laughs> I think that's the vibe, I guess. Um, 
but then blue umbrella which, uh, um <laughs> which is different from neo umbrella <laughs> uh... <laughs> was like they basically did like a rebrand of umbrella <laughs> um with, with, but they made the logo blue that's why it's blue umbrella that was 90% with the same less people, evil but n now their company is not pharmaceutical anymore if it ever even was it's for hunting bioweapons now. <laughs> AKA the same thing that the organization Chris and Jill started, the BSAA. That's what they are doing. Um, but now Blue Umbrella is there to do the same thing, I guess. <laughs> and it's named after the company that is the reason why we have these things running around in the first place. <laughs> yeah, and everyone is, I guess, just fine with that. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a bit like sort of like an anti-nuclear group calling themselves Chernobyl 2. Yeah. Like, <laughs> sorry, Chernobyl a Blue. A little bit. <laughs> yes. But then also like the people like working for that group initially built Chernobyl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That that is the vibe because I think it's like a quote. It's a literal quote from like I think it's a quote from Chris on the wiki or whatever. It's like blue umbrella is basically umbrella, um, with the same people and you know same organization. They just slapped blue paint on it, <laughs> a rebrand in the worst possible way, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> So, you know. <laughs> well, they made this, so they can't be all bad. They they sure made this. They made chip Only friend. some fries. <laughs> <laughs> the chips. Junky chips. chips. Our junky chips. Uh, anyway. He has a less happy friend. Um, ah, real far the frog mouth. Yeah. Under my far for real life. <laughs> of my far for fella. <laughs> Ella, Ella, A, A. <laughs> they sound like the aliens from Sesame Street. That's my, in my. <laughs> so, yeah, they are the lizardy things. Reptile, what's it? I yeah. just didn't know what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> no, they have a little bit of frog mouth coming. Just a little bit. Which is a weird choice considering their thing, their. Um, what it says they're based on. It says human slash reptile. Um, so frog mouth is curious. <laughs> You could you could have just ended up with a human with a frog head, which probably would have been superior in my opinion. But... <laughs> Frogs are still not reptiles. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, but uh, uh, d depends on your definition of reptile, and I'm not yeah, even birds are here. birds are reptiles. It's fine. <laughs> We're all just that one fish. We're all just that one fish. We're all just that one fish. We just made different choices in life. Um. Add that as a quote. Anyway. <laughs> Do not add the second part. Just add, quote, we're all just one fish, Chris. <laughs> we're, <all, laughs> we're all just that one fish. <laughs> um, cool. That happened. Uh, Jeep now draws a Zelda. I draw Zelda. Yes. And singular Zeldas. <laughs> one singular Zeldas. Actually, no, it'd be Zeldum, wouldn't it? Zeldum, Zelda. Datum, data. Uh, I guess, yeah. One Zeldum. Decennium, decennia. There's a Dutch. No, but you see, <laughs> the hero yeah. is actually Zelda's monster. No, that's. Uh... Uh, nope, that's Tears of the Kingdom. I, I, also, sorry, one sentence I got in Dutch 
a while ago, which stuck in my head, was um, in English. Uh, he thinks that he's somebody, but he's nobody. Um, <laughs> Yeah. And now that I'm being taught some adverbs, um, I now have the sentence, he thinks that he's somebody, but he's actually nobody. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually think... nobody. <laughs> he's actually nobody. <laughs> wow. Really learning some important Dutch phrases over there. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Shibi, do Thank you this. want me to give you someone who is a well-known... Zelda character, or do you want me to keep hitting the button until I get something a little more strange and obscure? I mean, listen, I know three Zelda's character, and it's Zelda, it's Linkus, and it's Ganondorf. <laughs> um, that's it. Okay, well, so if it's then not I one want of those you to draw three, for me. Sheik. 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 Yes. So Sheik is a reoccurring oh, character in the Sheik. Legend of Zelda series who is a Sheikah. Um, oh, from Smash Brothers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we've got, our, we've got our ninja. Yes. Yes. yes they, they put the Smash Brothers character in Zelda. Could you believe yeah. it? <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. It's the Zelda that Zelda can transform into in Smash Brothers. They are seldom seen together. I know. Yeah, the, the main game they are from is Ocarina of Time, where no, no, you from sort of Brothers. <laughs> lead, lead. You are led around and like given hints and things that help you warp from place to place. I don't know what they. I'm, I'm just just going to put this out there, even though I'm literally, you know. Well, not literally now, because we're streaming. Um, but I am somebody I follow on Twitch is currently doing their first playthrough of Ocarina of Time, having apparently avoided any knowledge of it. Um, nonetheless, I think it's probably fine if we spoil <laughs> Ocarina of Time. I think that's fine. If you want to, you don't have to. I mean, like I said, there are some games where it's the point of like, well, you might not be familiar with it, but <laughs> this game is rather old. If you want to avoid spoilers, it has regularly been time. broken apart <laughs> in various ways. We're going to call it fair. Oh, Dan had no idea. Ah, oh, bless him. <laughs> yeah. See, I, I, if you started drawing this without me knowing what it was, I'd go, ah, it's cheeky. We should do that. <laughs> but yeah, oddly enough, the first time I hit the button for both you and Chris, the character that popped up was like, oh, this is a new Tears of the Kingdom character with, uh, with <laughs> very spoilery information involved. We're not doing that. Mm. Scarf, maybe? Yeah. This is totally based on what I remember from uh, Smash Bros. <laughs> oh, you're doing well. This is ringing bells. Just do it off of vibes. I don't have an ocarina. It'd be a fun thing to play right now. I do, but I don't know exactly where it is. And also, I don't really know how to play Ocarina. Actually, let me see if I can find it. I think I, I imagine, might given what they look like, I've never played one. I imagine they're very limited in terms of number of notes. A harp? Yeah, she, she did play a harp. That is true. I do not have a harp. I like. I would like a harp. A harp would be nice. But you know, money. <laughs> Harps are not cheap generally, even though they are relatively simple. Like as instruments go, take string, you stick it on a bit of wood, pluck it, done. But then you got to get like the resonating body and make sure it's all structurally sound and. 
It was not in with the rest of the ceramic stuff I made. So I do oh. not know where it might be. I can get a kazoo. <laughs> Just like her, Ocarina. <laughs> I don't know if it is, Chris. No, no, it's not really, no. <laughs> But is it more like a kazoo or a... Uh, uh, <laughs> well... A, a kazoo is just a vibrating membrane. So that's not like a flute at all. An right. ocarina is closer to a flute. I guess it is technically it's a, it's a chamber flute. You're not blowing air over a hole, but there is a hole in there that you are blowing air over by blowing through another hole. So I guess an ocarina is a, a flute. Ocarina is a flute. Kazoo isn't. I don't know what a kazoo is. It's a kazoo. It's a kazoo, yeah. <laughs> it works. Yeah, it doesn't work like any other instrument, a kazoo. <laughs> Harmonica? Harmonica is a reed instrument, technically. Although sometimes the reed is metal. Yeah. It could be a brass reed, as it were. That's when you get into the sort of weird things of like, a harmonica is a reed instrument, but they can have metal reeds, or you can have wooden reeds on a metal instrument and call it a saxophone. It's, it's all very confusing. Well, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I mean, you're basically done, right? <laughs> Like, yeah, I don't know. This is a, this is a good cheek <laughs> from memory. Yeah. This is closer than any drawing I'm going to do in the Final Fantasy draw through. I'll <laughs> tell you that much. Mm. Oh, by the way, important milestone reached today with regards to the draw through, um, which is that we now have an hour's worth of music. Yay. Hooray. An hour and 40 seconds or something. Hopefully it doesn't drive you nuts. <laughs> I mean, like I said, with it being that long, it's going to take a while for us to actually repeat anything. Yeah. I think that's basically chic. E. <laughs> Something like that. At least. <laughs> I think if I showed this to most people and they asked which Legend of Zelda character is this, they just Say she. <laughs> oh yeah, if you specified Le Legend of Zelda, there's there's no no two ways about it. See? Yeah, pretty close. <laughs> Is she? It's, 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 it's too high poly, yeah, what's going on with that? <laughs> no long flowing hair though, or long braided hair, whatever. Uh, no long... I... I mean, hold on. Let me just. Because <laughs> again, I I specified <laughs> which version. <laughs> does Smash that one does one? have a break? <laughs> oh, that Lisa. is from Warriors. Oh, Cyber Warriors. No, uh, it's from Sm Super Smash Bros. <laughs> also, the suit's made of denim? What's going on? <laughs> Chic, pre presented by Levi. Okay, that one's specifically from Brawl. Yeah. And... But yeah, the one I posted is the <clears throat> ye old. I mean, Ocarina of Time design. Super Smash Brothers Brawl is probably the most I've ever look, looked at cheek <laughs> because <laughs> uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl had a a single player story mode. Now you got to play through all the characters. And when you played Zelda, you also got Cheek and had a braid. Nice. <laughs> to be fair, you don't really see Cheek much in the in Ocarina of Time, so 
You probably saw more in that game than you did. <laughs> you probably because usually when I play Zelda, I immediately do the transformation to Sheik. Because <laughs> I didn't know when I played these games, I didn't know Zelda, but I thought Sheik looked cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 Sheik's cool. <laughs> Ran out of wool before you could literally put a border on your project. Oh, no! You didn't knit fast enough. Or crochet <laughs> fast enough, whichever it is you're doing. <laughs> Just knit fast enough and you won't run out of yarn before the end. Yeah. Rest your wrist. Wrist, rest. Wrist, rest, everybody. Except uh, Ragdoll. Because Ragdoll, you have an Elden Ring. Um, would you like uh, a character, an enemy, or a boss? Eh... Let's see, I think Cheap got an enemy, right? So I guess I'll do a boss. I think no, Cheap went with boss. Which is also oh, an enemy, to be fair. Huh? It was also... She got the... Yeah, they got the Crustaceans. So, did... so yeah, But, but that's, that's, a, that's an, an enemy, enemy or, or a boss. boss. That's both. Uh, <laughs> well. <laughs> Naturally. Most things in Elden that's... Ring are enemies and bosses. <laughs> Okay, that is fair. Uh, yeah, let's let's still do do boss. Boss, cool, cool. Uh, you have uh, <laughs> something strangely similar to what you've just drawn, actually. Um, <laughs> more centipedes. You, you, kind of. Um, you have Astel, natural born of the void. How That's do you so describe good. this? Um. <laughs> Imagine if you will. <laughs> Imagine if you will. Or don't. A human skull with bug pincers on the front of a body that's like on all fours, but it's not all fours, it's all sixes. With dragonfly wings oh. and a big bug tail made of planets. <laughs> oh, those are planets <laughs> I, I, I don't know what they are <laughs> my first thing... thought was like you know how during chemistry classes you have like the little molecule models <laughs> yeah, it, yeah it's got that vibe yeah it, <laughs> and it's... as a child you just kind of like put them all together <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's a click of a thing and then the click of I just want to uh. make orbs <laughs> string of orbs a lot of orbs yeah this this thing is uh, literally an alien. Um, it knew. came from space. Wait, I like from... how we've got like, oh, it's a high fantasy thing, and then it's like aliens. We just have aliens. Yeah, yeah. why not? So the, quite a lot of things fell from space. Um, why does he have the tail. void head? Uh, that, it that's cracked, it is cracked. There's there might be a big eye in there. Oh. I, I probably all... should specify that, yeah. There's a big crack in the, the, the top of the skull, the forehead, mm. and there's a big eye in it. Yeah, in a close-up I can see it's a big eye. From all the other pictures I've had before, it was just this like little dot of light. <laughs> it was just like, what, what's in there, bud? <laughs> what you got in there? Is that the <laughs> sun? <laughs> what do you have in your mouth? <laughs> what do you have in the gaping void in your forehead? <laughs> Yeah, there, there are several bosses in Elden Ring that are this thing fell from space. And this is one of them. I I love that it stands on the little fingertips. Yeah, I, I, I've only just noticed that. Does he do a little skitter? Uh, most, mostly kind of like <laughs> sort of hops. but I want to say hops, but they kind of like float as they hop. They're not really... Mm you know, paying attention to gravity all that much, and they do little spins uh -huh. in the air, and they have their yeah. fun sort of swishy time. I think it would be fun uh, if it just kind of, like, skittered over to you. <laughs> <laughs> like just on its little fingertips, just like, oh. <laughs> no, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't do a Voldo. <laughs> Also, I love the bear says anal bead tail, and you yeah, know, not I mean thought of it, but 
and would be a little bit weird and painful, I, I imagine. I, I, I was going to say, you're, you're simultaneously not wrong, but also... I would, Very wrong. <laughs> that, that fe- this feels like a manufacturing defect. You would send it back. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is not what you ordered, for particularly, sure. Particularly the spiky pine cone at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't want that one. Ooh, that's fun. See, this, this is the fun thing about like describing something is you can sort of describe it in a way that makes sense to you when you're looking at the picture, and then um, you realize that actually you haven't given information, and thus there are multiple different ways of interpreting the thing. So when I said there's a crack in the top of the skull with an eye poking out of it, that is what Ragdoll has drawn. Yep. Um, and this is ra- one of the reasons why mathematicians are always persnickety about what we're writing down, <laughs> because it turns out yeah. uh, ambiguity results in many different things good yeah i mean the only difference really is the fact that you know in in this instance the crack is on the front of the forehead looking forwards but i like yours yours is fun yeah just permanently looking up yeah looking up to the stars i mean you know does it also have normal eyes i guess no, no, not really. I don't really know where the skull it's... comes from, to be honest. Because because there are there are other bosses in the game. Um, I mean, I hope falling... it's his skull. <laughs> I mean, it's I'm, his I'm skull sure. now. <laughs> this is the thing. I'm not sure that there's another Is boss in the game called. Skull? <laughs> <laughs> there's a thing called a falling star beast, mm-hmm. which is also another a thing that fell from space, and it also has these pincers and it, the young ones don't have anything going on where a face would be um and the the older ones have an eye sort of that's come out but they're more like bulls they don't really have a sort of skull mm. um they run they run around and charge you and stuff but uh so i don't know where this skull came from <laughs> yeah <laughs> cuz it's a big coincidence if something in space just happens to grow something that looks like a skull but not used like a skull because it doesn't have eyes in it. (laughs) Yeah. Even though it's got eye holes. I mean, it has a little bit (laughs) of the vibes of, like... (laughs) I don't know if you know. I'm going to reference a Tumblr post, so stick with me on this journey. Okay, I'll stick with you. (laughs) There's a Tumblr post that's about, like, biblical angels. And how um, they were just like, okay, we're going to have to make a form that's appeasing to humans and that they will not be afraid of. Um, Humans use eyes to make contact with each other. So (laughs) let's do just lots of eyes to make (laughs) contact to show this is important and that they can trust us. Uh, And that's where biblical angels come from. So now I'm just like thinking like, that this creature thought like humans have skulls. <laughs> they need those. And if I want to be like a human, I must grow a skull. Because that's what you do with skulls, right? You grow them? Yeah. I'm pretty yeah. sure it makes sense. The, yeah. Their bones are for protecting, so I'll put them around my eye. But I do have to see. They have these things called eye holes, so I'll just crack punch (laughs) (laughs) hole in the forehead. (laughs) Yeah, this makes sense. People won't be afraid of this. No. Uh, I'm going to be meeting a lot of new people, and humans greet each other with handshakes, so I will have six hands. Yeah. (laughs) Exactly. It It just makes sense, yeah. Uh, Again, pretty... someone has all of the information, but not enough context. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, those are correct details, but... <laughs> the, the, the scale that you've drawn this is a little on the big side, but not as much as you'd think. Yeah. I mean, I, I think figure it's if it's accurate. going to pop up as a boss... 
I think if something it's like, is going to be very large because if it's gone, stretched out its elbows a little bit more, then it would be the same size. You know, he's, he's <laughs> in most pictures I see he's scampering pretty close to the ground. Um, he's skittering and scampering. I mean, I guess I also, he isn't because you said he flies, but you know, it, it was, yeah. He does I can't have remember, yeah, prime a skittering of... posture. <laughs> There's the, the potential for skittering, but they choose to sort of float around. So. Honestly, a shame. We'll, we'll no, see this them thing is going to skitter and you're going to hate it. Yay. <laughs> we, we do have to encounter this thing if we want to get married to a witch. So. We That's want to get married to a witch? Yeah. That was one of, that's one of the options on the table for how the story can go. Oh. Which, 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 you'll have to find out. <laughs> which, which is which? I mean, which, I which guess there's only been one which we've met so far. The one with the pretty hat. Pretty hat witch. That's a witch. She introduced herself as Rena. Right. I don't remember people's names. That's fine, because we'll find out that's not a real name. <laughs> All I know is that there's cause... a person named Ratigan, and he did a lot of bad things. I think. <laughs> well, he cheated on his wife? Question no, he, l he left a, a wife oh, and then got married to someone else. his wife. Yeah, and his wife was v first wife was very sad about it. And his wife is the egg lady. Yes, The one that first sells wife. eggs? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that she has an egg, which was a gift from the husband. Right. Um, and she wants to birth you. Rebirth. <laughs> birth yes. you anew. I, I, I like... Mean, that's a detail, but, you know. The additional detail there doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Elden Ring. Um... <laughs> Welcome to Alden Ring, where Ratigan was married to a egg merchant that wants to birth you. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfectly reasonable. <laughs> and yes, oh. we Ratigan from the Grace Mouse Detective. Next question. Yes. <laughs> and, and yeah, if you're confused about that, the more we <laughs> learn about Ratigan. <laughs> Things things will be interesting. <laughs> uh, what else do I know about Elden Ring? Uh, Bok? Bok is good. Bok. Bok is good. Um, even I'm, though I'm... for some reason people get mad at you when you don't know how to find him, even though he was tree. He's a tree. Bush. In a uh, group of trees. <laughs> yeah, so... Mm. <laughs> Uh, that I know. Um, Patches is there because it's Patches. Um, mm -hmm. I did uh... actually um, pre-generate <laughs> some some characters and bosses um, just in case we got bad ones and stuff like that. And the character that I generated was Patches. So good. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's the 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 Craven lady. Nothing the... but a Craven. Nothing but the Craven. Um, that's the little Red Riding Hood. Um, yeah. there's the lady who eats grapes. Grape lady? Um, who may or may not lady. also be someone who, else who died, apparently? <laughs> Even her, I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> but her thing is that she eats grapes that are actually eyes, and then you tell her that they're eyes, and then she, um, vomits for a little while, and then she's like, I now know what I must do and joins a cult. Which... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's I mean, basically many how that story here. so far has gone. And really the only part of that statement that was sort of understandable was uh, just getting really sick after finding out you've been eating body parts. Yeah, that is <laughs> yeah. a reasonable reaction. I mean, honestly, her vomiting was was like not that intense, considering she was she just found out she had been eating ice this whole time. But also, not, now, now granted, I've not eaten eyeballs, so yeah. I can't say for sure. 
but I have eaten a lot of grapes. And I'm wondering how you could eat an eyeball and think, yes, this is the texture of a grape. I mean, I the, the, don't these know. are eyeballs that have been. I'm I'm going to use the word cooked. It's probably not right, but cooked in the flame of frenzy. Because when you have madness, the flame of frenzy comes out of your eyes. So, they, they might that might change the texture. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I mean that that. Also... That <laughs> is a little more reasonable, but I mean, not by much. They also I'm, look I like miss. onions. <laughs> yeah, they do look yeah, like onions. I don't know if that helps, but they look like onions. Because <laughs> Chris picked one up and then went through the thing and it wasn't really <laughs> focused in on the stream. And I thought, like, why did you pick up an onion <laughs> and start saying it's a grape? <laughs> <laughs> because it's that an eye. That honestly makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss is very much enjoying this conversation. Uh, <laughs> um, um, anything else you remember? Uh, this will be on the test. There was the guy with the the hands. The hands guy. <laughs> you call him as opposed to the other guys who don't have hands. <laughs> no, but the I. I commented on his hand because I was like, hey, so you have like one too many fingers on your hand. And then he revealed his seven more hands. And, oh, or yeah, something. Godric. Um, yeah. I don't know their names. They're all named Godric and Godwin and Godfrey and uh, Godric and Godroy <laughs> the third of the seventies. Um, <laughs> I mean, four of those were correct. <laughs> <laughs> Of you the know, Dragon Man, yes. Bear witness! That one. Um, there's the guy that the stream crashed on that one time. Um, <laughs> you have to narrow that down. Um, <laughs> oh, Margaret. Not yeah. the one you were fighting. Um, Margaret. M Margaret. Margaret, the old lady who's good. <laughs> Margaret. <laughs> Margaret. Um... There's um, Fashion Man, who is Freeman's biggest enemy. Um, e. His name is. Um... I had it and then it was gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rogier? Rogier. Rogier, yeah. Um, I'm assuming. That's and right. he was friends with the guy that's like a room away from him. <laughs> and you had to tell him that Roger was there, because I, you know, he was right there, but didn't go and check, I guess. And he's like, oh, he's um, a mumbling madman. And you walk up to yeah, him and say, hello he there. Was just really mean to him for no particular <laughs> reason. <laughs> and calling him insane in a number of ways. And then he went to talk to Roger and he was just like, fine and talking about history, which you asked about, so, you know. It's not like he started that conversation out of nowhere. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, Miss. I, I, I'm sorry, I've just realised. Miss, there, there is a thing we can do in the game which would... It wouldn't force us into a particular ending. But there's a thing we can do in the game which combines your two favourite things. These are two favourite things. The big fingers and hugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. There's the hug lady um, who really wants to hug you while you kneel before her yeah. while she's on a bed. Um, there she curses is you. The fingers who I, I now keep like, whenever you walk into that room, I'm just like, bunny. Because <laughs> 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 like just bunny ears. <laughs> Which is probably the most wholesome thing ever anyone has ever thought about those things. <laughs> um That's right, Miss, we'll get loads more than that in the next stream. Um there's the guy in the office room that reminds reminds me of Mouchley. Um not the guy oh, yeah. itself reminds <laughs> me of Mouchley but because the voice acted in a Mouchley speech. And I, I I don't know what else he's done, but <laughs> whenever I look at him, I, 
I just keep thinking cheese whiz, mister. <laughs> cheese whiz. <laughs> um, what else do I know about Elden Ring? The horse can jump. Uh, yeah. Can double jump. Um, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah. uh, like and, the, and the name is Torrent. Torrent. I remember. Yes, Torrent. It's um, a jumpy horse thing. Yes. And it cannot fly, but it can jump really high under only some circumstances. Yeah, there's a big old wind column. Right. That just exists precisely where you need it. <laughs> um, there, there's Wolf Guy. I remember Wolf Guy. Wolf guy? Um, you whistled him off a roof. I think. think that you whistle. I didn't. Uh, it, it was on a roof of like an abandoned church in the forest or something. The <laughs> I don't know. know what it was. Click something like that. Yeah. I clicked or snapped your fingers or whistled or something. Something you would do to a dog, and then he came from the roof and was like, hey, what do you want? Um, <laughs> Where's the cheese tax? <laughs> where's the cheese tax? I was promised cheese. <laughs> um, uh, oh, there's an important character. There's the Maracas Tits guy. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he's very important to the story of the Ring. Yeah. I'm sure. I looked him I looked him uh, up afterwards to make sure prawn? I was <laughs> He sells he sells prawns, yeah. Yeah. Um yeah. Later on he'll sell crab. Oh, good for him. I'm glad yeah. he's expanding his shelf. Yeah. Um, Moving up and... in the world. Slightly larger <laughs> crustaceans. Yeah. And then there's the dog pope, and I think that's all I really know. <laughs> I mean, what more do you need than Dog Pope? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing, really. I was fine just knowing that Dog Pope existed in the game. And then Chris was like, hey, let's do an Elden Ring playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> then, then we got to Dog Pope and then it ended. That's the end of the Elden yeah. Ring. Um, yeah, and also there's some... I, I was going to point it out when we were streaming, but then I remembered that probably only Miss would know what I was talking about. But the dog pope really sounds like somebody called Giles Brandreth. And it's very distracting. <laughs> but this is a good voice. Giles Brandreth has a good voice. But I keep expecting him to tell me facts about obscure words. Um, I mean, some... maybe if you stand by dog pope enough, he'll just start telling you fun facts. Hmm. See, Miss knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> he sounds like Giles Brandreth. Um. E. Anyway, this is this is Astel. A a a still a drawing. I. Without like the little figure, like the little person that's supposed to be <laughs> you there, it just looks like he's in the. A lot he coming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he also is coming. That is Elden probably Lord what the little coming. guy is thinking. Oh lord, he's coming. <laughs> oh lord, he coming. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot the wings. Right. And he doesn't. He you can didn't say wings. he had wings. He has little scampery paws. No. Yeah. There. He coming. <laughs> oh lord, he coming. Oh lord, he coming. And, you know, based off of the angle that we're seeing it in, I actually wouldn't be surprised if the player character was only about as large as his hand. Yeah? Uh... Yeah, probably not far off. Not too far, yeah. Pretty, pretty big. Because that's like the angle they use where it's like, oh, we have a large monster and you're going to have to deal with that problem. Well, this, what we're actually seeing is probably the character using binoculars. So that they can get a first person view. So that's, yeah, that's probably give you an, an idea of scale. <laughs> this is first person. 
But yeah, this this is the boss that I sort of looked at and was like, I love this. It looks like a five year old designed it, and then a concept artist made it real. <laughs> <laughs> gonna have lots of arms, and it's gonna have bug pincers and a skull, <clears throat> and there's a big tail with the planets on it, and uh, gonna have eyeball in skull. Spikes at the end of the tail. Spikes on tail, so I can go me of My favorite dinosaur. Yeah, <laughs> Ankylosaurus. <laughs> very silly and there's basically no information about this thing it just came from space <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah why not why not <laughs> i mean i think it's very cool of them to just go hey we have mystical magical mumbo jumbo and also aliens yeah, yeah just aliens. From the mystical magical mumbo jumbo so, well, there's argument to be said that the mystical magical mumbo jumbo is also aliens um but it's you know Ambiguous enough that it's not certain. <laughs> New dinosaur show soon. Ankylosaurus is this is. is. Also, be proud of me for saying Ankylosaurus because as a kid, I really liked them, but I thought they were called Ankylosaurus, and that's what it is in my head now. They and have every time ankles I say it, too. Ankylosaurus. Sure. They have ankles. They have little ankles. <laughs> Same. Yeah. <laughs> Same hat. Miss and I are actually the same person from a different timeline. Ankylosaurus. And that was the timeline as to whether or not we got a good maths teacher. Um. D. Uh, do, should we should we turn turn all the things on? Turn all the things on. Turn all the things on. <laughs> all the layers. <laughs> <laughs> the little frog happily sitting on top of it all. <laughs> no, now he's sitting on everyone's head. <laughs> Yay! Are they the king or are they the crown? Nobody knows. <laughs> but they're happy about it. They have a little snail friend. <laughs> they are the frog. Frog. They are dog. Also, my little, um, little parasite drawing that I did in the corner fits inside the cat. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit weird. <laughs> I guess it really is a parasite. It's like, it's actually, what's going on inside there? There's a little bug going. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> it's warm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks. Thanks for doodling, friends. Thanks yes. for doodling. <laughs> And this high energy stream. (laughs) Don't worry, so am I. Um, Yeah, that was that was that. Um, I'll be back Tuesday morning with some noodles, Um, and then Tuesday evening with some doots of bubbles. We can't actually do it yet because we don't have the trumpet, but we will get it. When we've been waiting, we. uh, if we're lucky, we might be able to get it Tuesday. If not, I'll grind for it between stream. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will completely change my character. Because the trumpet requires literally all of the stats I don't have. Um, <laughs> it's been ages well, so now you years. can be rebirthed by the egg merchant. Yes, that's the point. That's why I went to her. Um, mm. we, we now have everything we need we could go and get the trumpet right now but I think I have to do some more things to make Bok happy so we're going to do that first yeah make um, Bok happy that's important we will become and, oh, a um, musician <laughs> hey, we're going to do get a trumpet we can actually get two trumpets two trumpets two double trumpets. trumpeting we can get a little small one get a cornet and a proper big vuvuzela yeah double trumpet Herbal trumpet. As you, if if you look at it on screen right now, the one Kirby has, that's the small one, and the one the parsnip has is the big one. Um, I forgot I drew Kirby as a oracle envoy. Anyway, um, yeah, thank you for uh, about to say attending the stream. That's, that's attending. <laughs> thank you for attending the stream, everybody. Do, do I have to sign off on the attendance sheet, or am I going to get counted off if I don't? And, no, you have to sign it, otherwise you will face disciplinary action. Um, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, doodles Tuesday. 
Elder Ring, Tuesday. Draw through Wednesday with an hour's worth of music. <laughs> I'm just Yay. pleased I got to the hour mark. That's that's my <laughs> Hopefully it's good. Um and hopefully I can actually just remember how things look. Because I haven't practiced that at all. Um so come up with names, everyone. <laughs> You're gonna names. need a lot of names in this first stream. So many names. So many names. Um bin the attendance sheet. No, then you will all get detention. Um all detention. Oh no. No. Yeah. Anyway, people with uh we were, <laughs> we're tired, we need sleep. <laughs> Not Jesse one, Jesse two. Jesse, Jesse number, number three. <laughs> Specifically, not the numeral, the whole word. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, the main character is never called a J name. Because first it was Sonic with a K, and then it was Simon. <laughs> we have to <laughs> continue the S I. theme, I guess. <laughs> well, I'll, the main character of this one's a monkey, so I'll leave you with that. Simeon? Um, um, Donkey works Kong Jr. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you mind repeating that? Donkey Kong Jr. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you said monkey. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this so weird of a connection to me? <laughs> Just the specificity of Junior. It's, like... <laughs> it's because Donkey Kong doesn't have a tail. Donkey Kong Junior does have a tail. Is he not? I've never noticed. <laughs> nah, Donkey Kong is a big gorilla ape. Oh. And Donkey Kong Junior has a little hat and a tail. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the cork? What cork? Oh, that one. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, has Chibi had a quote about monkeys before? I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, I was also very confused. Like, I did not have to talk about Donkey Kong Jr. so often. Ah, <laughs> <Yeah. the last. laughs> yes, quote 783. Chibi's always correct about Donkey Kong Jr. Um. <laughs> Donkey Kong Jr.'s biggest fan. <laughs> Never played a Donkey Kong game in my life. <laughs> Ah, but you've played Smash close enough. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you play you play as Donkey Kong Jr. in Smash Bros. <laughs> Brawl. Nice. Can you? Yeah. You can. There's Donkey Kong and there's Donkey Kong Jr. <laughs> Donkey Kong Jr. has a wooden gun that shoots bananas. <laughs> <laughs> now, so I that doesn't surprise me. There's, yeah, there's, there's a Donkey Kong rap. That talks about a gun that fires in spurts. Banana gun. It fires in <laughs> spurts. That's the only line I know from that. He also has a jetpack that works once. <laughs> it does like one little boost and then it fails. You Is that a jetpack <laughs> or a controlled explosion? <laughs> Either or, really. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Kiro tried to compliment you, but instead said that Chippy is corrupt. <laughs> I mean, that's also true. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yes, we'll actually end. People need sleep, apart from yeah. Ragdoll. Well, Ragdoll can enough have sleep. Enough talk on about Donkey Kong Jr. Enough, enough talk about the very important facts enough of Donkey Kong Jr. <laughs> Badum Tish. Someone, but I will Badum. There we go. Actually, we could have done it in Discord, then you can hear. Yeah, it's fine. I can't imagine. <laughs> no imagining. Oh. Too tired for imagination. We're going to sleep. Have have a wonderful mm. sleep, everybody. Unless you're not going to sleep, in which case have a wonderful pre-sleep. Bye! Bye! I won't be able to open the doors. They're tightly sealed. Also known as being awake. <laughs>